power on. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars, when man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior. Born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Bio Dread Empire. They were soldiers of the future. Mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assaulting. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer, pilot chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dread's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Database Journal 47.5 Mark 20. Captain reporting. With Pilot in the rust on a surveying expedition, Hawk and I are finishing the med supply runs to Sector 3, just outside what's left of Dallas. That's the last one. All right, let's give him a hand. Indeed, they're clear. Beautiful, just like the old man said. Now you know what to do, huh? If they start coming back before I'm through, the security system's gonna yell, right? Yes, Captain. Soon I will establish a pattern to your activities and then... What's this? An intruder? How propitious. Proceed at once to Sector 3. A corps of troopers will rendezvous with you. Locate this organic. He may be of some use. Yes, my lord. I should keep you for a while. Sorry there wasn't more. We needed these badly. Well, you know where to reach us if you need us. That's all we can bring for now. So long. Take care. Take care of yourself. Bye. Trouble, Andy. They're heading back. You better get out of there. Not yet. I've almost got it. Better contact the others. Tell them we're heading back to base. Right, Captain. Lock in coordinates, Hawk. Bearing 4.5. Roger. Mark. Maximum burn, let's head for home. Affirmative. Oh, 
Though there has been delay in the progress of Project New Order, the dream continues, just as you taught me, Overmind. All things that are of the flesh shall be pared away. The day of the machine is inevitable, for the forces of history are with us. But more than flesh must be eliminated. Emotions are not of the machine. You must work harder to cast them aside. I... I don't know what you're... When not in my presence, you have exhibited anger, rage, sadness, compassion. Beware of these things, Dread. Seek out my help when the weakness strikes. I will remember. My thanks over mind. Praise be to the machine. You missed something, Lord Dread. No, Lackey. I am Lackey. I live to serve. Yes. And who do you serve? The Biodread Empire, of course. My programming is quite specific. That will be all. As you wish, I am Lackey. I live to serve. Yes, my lord. All systems down? Affirmative. All right. Let's check in with the rest, then we'll head back out again. Next run's a big one. My back's sore. Let's use the whole team. Though we are not now that strength, which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Tennyson, Ulysses. Anything else? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Certainly is a lot to learn. So many concepts they didn't teach us in the Dread Youth. You explain, uh, love, mentor? Specify form of love. Parental, sibling, friendship, camaraderie, lovers? Lovers? A moment. Red Dog 1 to Night Flyer. I'm in, do you copy? Red Dog 1 to Night Flyer. Captain, I'm receiving a transmission. It's coming from inside the base. Isolate and jam the signal. Activate security system. Ultraviolet alert. Go. Intruder alert. Six. Six. Intruder alert. alert. So much for stealth. Dread forces? Unknown. Hawk, you get to level one. Tank, you take primary command. Scout, if it's dread, we'll have to blow the base. Captain! Move it. Go. Just, uh, dropped in to borrow a cup of sugar. 
Wonderful day we're having, isn't it? <laughs> Power here. I got him. Why are we wasting time with all this, Captain? This location has to remain secret, no matter the cost. I say we kill him. No, Tank, I think we should at least find out who he is and what he's doing here. Okay. Since you asked so nice, I'll tell you. The name's Andy Jackson. My partner and I have been fighting dread our own way, and we heard about you. So I thought I'd come by and see if you guys were, uh, good enough to join us. To join you? Tank's right. Scrag him. Nice try, kiddo, but I think you can give it up now. Your uh, captain's vaunted reverence for life is practically legendary. He could no more kill me in cold blood than you could fly in the air. I'd rephrase that if I were you. All right, conference. Tank, keep an eye on the prisoner. With pleasure, Captain. can just get stuffed. Sufficient voice I'm not telling all. anything. He can be encouraged. Unnecessary. You guys can just get stuffed. Get stuffed. You, you guys. guys. You. you. Can, can you read, read me? me? This is base. Can you read me? Come in. <laughs> can you read me? Come in. We need help. You've got to get back here. Fast. <laughs> Get a fix on that transmission. Now we got something to trace. We're going back, people. Power up. You stay there. Power up. Get the jump ship ready. Run checks, then power down. Wait, let me go with you. Look, that's not my partner. I mean, it's his voice, but it, it's not him. Look, he would never break radio silence, and even if he did, he would use our code names, and he didn't. There's something wrong. Give me a break. Captain, you've got to believe me. I know I broke into your base, but there was a reason. All right, during the wars, my partner and I were with special forces. Since then, we've been fighting dread, our own way. And then we heard about you. Figured, maybe we could join up with you. So breaking into your base was the best way of showing you what we could do. Look, even if we could believe you... Blast it, Captain! Something's happened to my partner! I mean, maybe they did something to him. I don't know, but I have to find out. And the only way you could keep me here is to kill me. Because if my partner gets killed because I couldn't be there, there's no place in this world that you could hide from me. What if it were one of your team? You try to make contact, but we want to hear you make one wrong move. Ready to five by five. What's the password? No time for games. Have you reached the objective? Then you better get back here fast. We got trouble. Base out. All right, let's go. He is unarmed, my lord. I need your 
body organic. I permit you to live for now. Full. Ah. Administer sleep seven. We require him to bait the trap. Just in case. Risk grenade, huh? Remote controlled. Let me guess, I try to remove it, it goes boom. Afraid so. I don't like it any better than you do. Wouldn't want to bet on that, would you? Jim? Jim? Sleeping on the job, huh? Do not move, organic. Well, that's a pleasant greeting. <laughs> you have been inside Power's base. As a matter of fact, yes. They could use a good decorator. Some nice curtains would really make that place, you know? Tell me the location of Power Space, or you will suffer. Well, I guess that, uh... Doesn't leave me much choice, does it? Hit him! So far, your story checks out. I understand your motives, but I can't approve of your methods. Well, I admit that uh, breaking into your base might have been a bit of grandstanding, but uh, got your attention, didn't it? Yeah, it did that. But I'm afraid you can't join us. There's room in the team for one more, but it has to be the right one. And that takes time, trust. Well, that raises a nasty question, Captain. You can't have anyone running around who knows where your base is. At least, not someone you can't trust. Well, Captain, what will it be? You were right, Andy. I do put a premium on life. I hope I'm not making a mistake. For your sake. He's just roughed up, Captain. Should be okay in a week or so. Well, I'll thank the universe for that, at least. I've done all I can. Some time and rest should finish the job. Did you finish explaining everything? Everything. He's a good explainer, your Captain. Maybe you could uh, even talk him into explaining to you about love sometime.
Good luck, Captain. I'll be seeing you again. Soon. Andy! You might need this. Well, Jim, I think we passed the audition. Closing in on Dredd. Watch for base stations. Visibility down. Going to scanning systems. Activated. Check energy level. Check power levels. We took a few hits, but we've still got plenty of power. Energy systems full. Hold on. I'm gonna blow this baby. 